Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Sintel Kuwait. Yo, what's cracking? And we are looking at what Pakistani youth think about India. This is from Lahori Feed Speaks. This is something that uh, interested me. There's a video that came out on AIB a while back. It was something like uh, what Indian Pakistanis think of each other. And mm -hmm. Achara and I did a reaction to it some time ago, but uh, it, it was blocked at the time. And I'd love to recover that and put it back out because I thought it was actually a very, very interesting video. Okay. And, and so me being the optimist, me being someone who's hopeful and maybe, dare I say, naive, I'm always hoping for like more, more peace. And so I have no idea what's involved in this video, but I'm damn curious. Right. So we're going to find out right now. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and please vote this up so that YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Let's jump into this. Here we Shopping go. Shopping is a thing. Shopping is a thing. I'm going to go to India. 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 I'm going to go to Guys, this is Sharuk from the Horrified Speaks. Guys, today we are taking a very fun and interesting topic. Partition of okay. India and Pakistan. And what are our thoughts about our youth? Guys, as we know, in 1947, we were all together. We were all together. India and Pakistan were all together. But after the partition, people were all together. And people were all together. So guys, let's talk about the stories. So our words, our words, our words, our languages, our education, even our food. It's about the same thing. इन डिफरेंसेस क्यों आते हैं क्योंकि इंटरनेट पे जो चीजें मिलती हैं जो फैक्ट्स मिलते हैं जो मीम्स मिलते हैं हमारी यूथ या उनकी यूथ आज की जो हमारी न्यू जनरेशन है वो सब यही समझते हैं कि हमें बहुत ज्यादा नेगेटिविटी है व्हाट शी जस्ट सेड इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड एंड इट्स लाइक इट्स एंड इट्स समथिंग दैट्स ऑलमोस्ट फील्स इंपॉसिबल टू गेट अराउंड बट मेबी इट्स इजियर टुडे देन इट यूज्ड टू बी बिकॉज़ ऑफ अस बीइंग सो ग्लोबल नाउ बिकॉज़ यू यू कैन लुक एट द न्यूज़ फ्रॉम अनदर कंट्री मोर इजीली देन बिफोर आई मीन एट लीस्ट इफ यू आर इन अ इन अ फ्री कंट्री लाइक अमेरिका यू कैन देयर इज मीडिया दैट इज designed for us you know mm -hmm. when Saddam Hussein's statue was taken down you know we saw kids cheering truth of the matter is they weren't cheering and there wasn't that many people it was just the mm -hmm. way that it was shown to us and presented to us we saw it as a victory that wasn't necessarily what they were thinking or feeling and we see why today I mean mm -hmm. the fallout of that created really really dire consequences there was a, 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 a huge quarrel between India and Pakistan some time ago and mm -hmm. there was this instance of Modi dropping bombs over uh, a certain part of Pakistan and okay. it was a celebration for India and Pakistanis were like you you, you drop bombs on nothing there was like you drop bombs on an area that was empty mm -hmm. and and so there was conflicting reports of what exactly had happened there's conflicting ideas of what goes on in the neighboring countries because each country has its own journalism how can you even consider anything outside of that that's your news coverage right but it's a very important thing because we live in our echo chambers and like i mm. see something on the news and i'm like oh god and my first thought isn't is this real should i be questioning the legitimacy of this report my first mm. thought is an emotional response to what is being told to me that is very true kaun si jagah pe jayenge kis personality ko wo milna chahenge aur kaun sa specific food hai jo wo try karna chahenge so guys let's go Assalamualaikum. क्या नाम है अरिबा सादिक हफ्ता क्या करते हैं मैं जॉब करती हूँ बेसिकली मेरा सिल्क बैंक में भी मैं जॉब करती हूँ और जुबली लाइफ इंश्योरेंस में दोनों जगह पे जॉब कर रही हूँ आजकल मैं जॉब करती हूँ बैंक में इंडिया को लेके आज हम इंटरनेट पे जो पढ़ते हैं या मीम्स में जो देखते हैं हमारी एजुकेशन वगैरह जो भी है उसको लेके थोड़ी सी नेगेटिविटी आ जाती है हमें ज़्यादा पता नहीं है इंडिया के बारे में हमारी दोस्ती नहीं हो पा रही इस बारे में क्या ख्याल है शॉपिंग करने का दिल करता है इंडिया से शॉपिंग जाके ठीक है रेसिज्म बहुत है जिसकी वजह से थोड़ा वो क्रिटिसाइज़ किया जाता है लोग तो तकरीबन सेम है मेरे ख्याल से कोई फ़र्क नहीं है यहाँ पर पंजाब में जो लोग हैं सेम वही है इंडिया और पाकिस्तान दोनों में थोड़ा सा तफर्क पड़े हुए हैं वो ख़त्म हो जाए इंडिया का मैं काफ़ी जानता हूँ मेरे काफ़ी दोस्त हैं इंडिया से पंजाब इंडिया से वो वहाँ पे काफ़ी कुछ जानते हैं देखिए ज़्यादातर जो फेमस पर्सनैलिटीज़ हैं और जितने भी एक्टर्स हैं सब लोग इंडिया से बिलोंग करते हैं और कुछ हमारे फेमस जो पाकिस्तानी मुस्लिम जैसे शाहरुख खान है सलमान खान हमारे मुस्लिम एक्टर्स हैं वहाँ पे इंडियन के बारे में ज़्यादातर उनकी पर्सनैलिटीज़ वगैरह के बारे में उनका कुछ जो उनके ट्रेडिशनल कुछ तरीके हैं इस वजह से इंडिया के बारे में काफ़ी कुछ यादगार आ जाता है दोस्ती होनी चाहिए उनके साथ ठीक है वो भी एक मुल्क है आज की यूथ को आज की यूथ का स्पेसिफिकली क्या पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू है इंडिया के बारे में इंडिया का नाम आता है तो आप क्या सोचते हो 
कुछ भी नहीं साथ वाला मुल्क सोचते हैं और क्या सोच रहे हैं जैसे नॉर्मल मुल्क कोई बांग्लादेश सुनते हैं वैसे इंडिया सुनते हैं जाहिर सी बात है जब उनके कुछ हम ऐसी चीज़ें हैं जो मतलब हमारी सोसाइटी में हम उसको टॉलरेट नहीं कर सकते जैसे कि हो गए कुछ हमारे जिस बारे में हमें टॉपिक नहीं छेड़ना चाहिए मज़ा वगैरह हो गया कुछ ऐसी चीज़ें हैं मुझे नहीं लगता कि हमें साथ रहना चाहिए नहीं आई डोंट लाइक दिस के हम दोनों इकट्ठे एक साथ रह सकते हैं स्पेशल क्वेश्चन ये है कि अगर इंडिया जाने का चांस मिले वट सिटी वुड यू लाइक टू विजिट सेकेंड है किस पर्सनैलिटी को मिलना चाहोगे या किसी और को और कौन सा फूड ट्राई करना चाहिए दिल्ली वहाँ पे पता नहीं देखने से लगता है वहाँ बहुत ज़्यादा पीस होगा और वेदर वहाँ का मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है विंटर वहाँ पे ज़्यादा आते हैं तो इसलिए दिल्ली विजिट करूँगी अगर मैं इंडिया में जाऊँ तो सारी बात है मैं तो पंजाब में जाऊंगा कोई अमृतसर मुझे मतलब कि उनका शहर अच्छा लगता है मैं बॉर्डर विजिट किए हैं तो उस तरफ जब देखते हैं तो बड़ी एक शानदार फीलिंग आती है अगर मुझे इंडिया में जाने का चांस मिले तो मैं जो अपने फेमस एक्टर हैं वो मैं सुशांत सिंह से मिलना चाहूँगा oh, मैंने नाम सुना है उपमा का अगर इंडिया जाने का मौका मिले तो मैं अमृतसर जाऊँगा मेरा फेवरेट एक्टर है शाहरुख खान तो शाहरुख खान को मिलोगे जाके जाहिर सी बात है मैं उसे मिलूँगा पंजाब अमृतसर पंजाब अमृतसर दीपिका पाडुकोन तो अगर मुझे मिलना पड़ा तो अरमिंदर गिल मेरा फेवरेट है वो एक्टिंग बहुत अच्छी करती हैं और अगर मुझे वो तो अब है नहीं है नहीं है लेकिन अल्लाह पाक ने जन्नत में जगह था फरमाए बट एवर उनका जो भी मामला था लेकिन वो मेरी फेवरेट पर्सनालिटी थी शायद रहेंगी विराट कोहली इंडियन विराट कोहली चलो आजकल मैच का वैसे सीजन चल रहा है तो विराट कोहली हाँ एग्जैक्टली बिकॉज आई एम बिग फैन ऑफ हिम जो भी खिला दे <laughs> That's actually uh, interesting, and I wonder how the audience feels about that, especially the those who are very, very, very strong, uh, big, big fans of cricket, because okay. there's a, a a strong sense of pride, especially when you you see India and Pakistan going head to head in cricket. Okay, yeah, very obvious reasons. Like that, yeah, yeah. that those are intense matches. It goes well beyond the scope of the game itself. Right. You know, it's there's a pride involved, and I wonder how it feels. For your average Indian viewer who's a big fan of cricket, to hear that this rando Pakistani dude is a big mm. fan of Virat Kohli, mm. that has to be a little bit mind blowing. Like, yo, yeah. you know, the, the, all the yeah. vitriol you feel towards Pakistan, and then there's this Pakistani dude who's a huge fan of of one of your top players in cricket. That's you know. Yeah, well, that, I think that's one of the beautiful things of, um, when it comes to like sports. Mm -hmm. um, we had a very huge, huge, nasty rivalry in what was known as the Cold War in the United States with the Soviet Union. And one of the most legendary hockey games of all time, as far as how Americans see it, keep in mind how Americans see it, was when the Soviet Union played the United States in hockey during the Olympics. And it's a type of competition that's physical, but without, without it being bloody. Well, at least, excuse me, without it being lethal, because even hockey can get a little bloody, mm -hmm. but without it being lethal, and it gives you like safe kind of bragging rights. And even people People at that time, people that might not have liked each other because of whatever reason, you know, that was going on in the United States, everybody was came together and was like, OK, we were cheering under this one banner. And then when we defeated them because they had been the absolute dominant champion at that time for years on end, there was like this great national pride kind of thing. And then, you know, everybody shook hands and then kept it. No missiles were being dropped. No bullets were being fired. And, and it's just a good way to kind of like let that tension go in a safe space. Yeah. That's what I love. वैसे ही पर्सनैलिटी सब एक्ट्रेसेस को अगर कंपेरिजन किया जाए तो उनकी सबसे अच्छी है नहीं कोई मेल एक्टर क्यों नहीं वाई दीपिका मेल हमारे अपने बहुत अच्छे हैं ना इसीलिए ये बात तो ठीक है दिल्ली में जाना चाहूँगी या चेन्नई इन दोनों में से किसी भी एक जगह में अगर जाने का चांस हुआ तो मैं जरूर जाना चाहूँगी मशहूर एक्टर होगा उसको मिलेंगे कोई फीमेल एक्ट्रेस होनी चाहिए फीमेल हो कौन कोई दीपिका करीना करिश्मा कौन करीना करीना कपूर को मिलना चाहेंगे मैं जाना चाहूँगा बॉम्बे शहर में क्योंकि वहाँ पे मेरे दोस्त हैं और मिलूँगा भी मैं अपने दोस्तों से ही गोल गप्पे पानीपुरी पानीपुरी मैं वहाँ पे डोसा खाना पसंद करूँगी क्योंकि आप स्टार प्लस में अगर देखते हैं ड्रामाज में तो डोसा 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 मैं वैसे पंजाब ही प्रेफर करूँगा लेकिन अगर कहीं स्पेशल स्पेशल जगह हो तो दिल्ली दिल्ली में वो जो हिस्टोरिकल प्लेसेज है वो विजिट करूँगा बहुत ज़्यादा उनकी तो फूड है लेकिन पानीपुरी 
पानीपुरी अच्छी है तो पानीपुरी ट्राई वहाँ पे मैंने एक फूड सुना हुआ है पाव भाजी कोई सीन है उसका पाव भाजी हाँ वो मैं खाना ट्राई करूँगा कभी बस ये जब बॉर्डर खोल जाते हैं तो मैं चले जाता हूँ उसी का वेट हो रहा है इधर खड़े हो गोपी बहुत डोसा बना लो ये तो इस हवाले से डोसा मुझे लगता है कि फेमस डिश होगी डेली जाके डिपिका पादुकोन के साथ पानीपुरी बैठ के ट्राई करना चाहूँगी हाँ ज़रूर वो डिश जो है ना वो खानी चाहिए वहाँ चलो मुंबई जाके शाहरुख खान के साथ बैठ के बैठ के वो डिश ट्राई करनी चाहिए अच्छा तो आप अमृतसर जाके करीना कपूर के साथ बैठ के पानी पूरी ट्राई करना चाहते हैं कर लूँगा पानी पूरी पानी पूरी हाँ वो वो मैं ट्राई करूँगा सो so गाइज अगर आप मेरा पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू लें तो मैं भी यही चाहती हूँ कि मैं भी वहाँ पर जाऊँ वहाँ पर जाके उनकी फेमस डिश ट्राई करूँ शाहरुख खान के साथ तो मैं नहीं बैठना चाहूँगी मैं सलमान खान को डेफिनेटली मिलना चाहूँगी और करीना कपूर या राइट करीना कपूर से मिलना चाहूँगी मुंबई में जाना चाहूँगी और वहाँ की डेफिनेटली पानी पूरी ट्राई करना चाहूँगी गाइस हमने एक अरसा साथ गुजारा हुआ है इंडिया हो पाकिस्तान हो ये एक ही मुल्क हुआ करता था पूरा बड़े सगीर हुआ करता था तो कोई डिफरेंस नहीं है ये जो हेटरेट फैला रही है हमारी गवर्नमेंट है या कोई भी है स्पेसिफिकली नीचे कमेंट्स में आगे आप लोग बातें करते हैं कि इंडिया ये है और पाकिस्तान ये है गाइस वी आर द सेम तो प्लीज़ ये हेटेड फैलाना बंद करें एंड गाइस एट द एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल हमें इंस्टाग्राम पे भी फॉलो करें वीडियो को लाइक करें शेयर करें और कॉमेंट करें आई सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो अल्लाह हाफि That's a heartwarming message. Anyone who responds to this positively most likely already felt the way they did. It's just hard when you're being inundated with information from your media coverage right. of like, oh, that's the enemy. You know, bad, 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 bad. I can only imagine it's like it's it wears you down. You're being hypnotized by the news coverage. You're being hypnotized into believing a certain thing and it may, and you get emotionally charged. You feel a particular way and any little thing that is a negative from their side, it just you know exacerbates it further the way the news covers things some it sometimes or the way it used to anyway we were more afraid of terrorists from another country flying planes into buildings than we were of something domestically happening when you are more likely to suffer from something domestic <laughs> as as somebody who is a part of the tribe that has to kind of like be leery of <laughs> in, in their own safe space in their own country mm -hmm. yeah i i i totally understand that you know there was that feeling like everybody's looking overseas to come blow up stuff but then you know there's some people that are leery about you know and should be you know properly leery about things that are happening with, with, within their own neighborhood so it's just it's it's interesting how that how that narrative can, can force people into in, into believing one thing uh, yeah. more so than more so than the other we are very fortunate enough me and you Jabby are very fortunate enough to be in an industry whose sole purpose is to pull emotion out of people right mm -hmm. and emotion is a truth in 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 itself and if you feel good especially when you're watching a video or you're listening to a song or 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 whatever that feeling like stays with you and whatever it is that has caused that emotion be it a good film a good television show a good actress that you like seeing or an actor or or somebody that that's in sports it does something to your mind regarding hating something that that feeling came from you know that's why i think it was really important that she emphasized like are there any kind of like like indian uh, actors or actresses that that you enjoy they they pushed some type of emotion pulled some kind of emotion out of it and it's convinced you even even subconsciously to not attach that feeling towards hatred or pain or distrust or whatever it is it changes the narrative and then this and even though and you are right you know there are going to be people that are on the fence that that may budge some piece a little bit more than the other but maybe somebody on this will set an actor that you connect with and that you absolutely love and they're like yo i like this particular actor and now you have that common ground sometimes it just takes a little bit of common ground i think there does need to be more of this it does seem seem daunting like all of this is just for not cuz nothing is ever going to change but even the smallest little bit is can 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 kind of like get the get the the ball rolling get, get get it turning maybe other people who are watching this as well might not even pay attention to who that actor or actress is and now they're going to check them out they're like well if my own people like this person let me see why yeah yeah you know yeah, and yeah, then yeah. and then and then it spreads like that that's yeah. that's the beautiful thing about art yeah they had their 911 which is uh, called 2611. Okay. And when you go through something like that, like we saw the towers go down. Mm -hmm. It just does something to your brain. And when the news puts out coverage, you start to make these associations and it all like fuses together yeah. into a bigotry that is, you almost can't help, Yeah. you know? And it's so hard to fight against because of the onslaught of information. And it's like, I wish I could do something about it. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, it, it feels you feel so helpless to it. You feel like you can't do anything about it. When I look at you know tiffs going on between Pakistan and India, it, it breaks my heart because I'm like they're basically the same people if you go far back enough. Just like less than a hundred years ago, they were the same country or the same land. It just blows my mind, you know. But anyway, it's it's almost like if we had quarrels with Canada or something. Right. It's just like weird. <laughs> you know, yeah. I hate war. Like, and as and who doesn't? I but I, I hate I hate the beef that is shared in the in the vitriol that is shared like between neighboring countries. This is the same thing with um, uh, Azerbaijan and Armenia. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with North Korea and South Korea. I mean, obviously North Korea is just Israel and um, Palestine. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, there's a lot of political stuff that I goes back many, 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 many years, and. You know, we're not going to solve that overnight, but one can hope that, you know, peace will show up. You know, <laughs> because yeah. India and Pakistan are more alike, they're more alike than they are different, you know? Well, well here's something, and this isn't just to, just to toot your own horn, but it's a fact, man. I mean, you have a channel that shows uh, Indian art, and it's done in a way that convinces you to, well, let's just try. Especially for me, as somebody who, who never dabbled into the uh, Indian cinema uh, on the level that you have, and it's absolutely blown my mind with the things that I've seen, but I wouldn't have done it, or at least not this quickly and as in depth if it wasn't for you having that showing me, showing me the path, show, showing me the way. Uh, I promise you that there is going to be people who may not necessarily agree with with, with the politics that, that, that are involved with India, but they, they enjoy the art, and you are that through point into, into finding a common ground, man. It's important. It is important because somebody has to do it. Yeah. somebody yeah. you know you're like hey here's this cool thing that is happening in this region of the world come check it out and you know and you open it up for the entire world to see and there and and as a result of that there are going to be people that have conflicting viewpoints that are going to walk through that door and you you can potentially change the thought process in the mind and give you know maybe an opportunity for people to to look at it from a different stance yeah hopefully yeah. hopefully yeah. hopefully uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is... Hey, it's your boy, Sintel. Peace out.